Welcome back to Elvis Fans Matter. And we go pick up on some uh, more questions. Uh, we had one, somebody asked about uh, Elvis meeting Nixon. Uh, all I can tell you is... <laughs> he met him. <laughs> he, he met him, but he left that, that morning, uh, not real early, I would say around 10, 11 o'clock from Graceland. And he flew to Washington by himself. That you know, was extremely rare for Elvis. He just hardly ever uh, did things like that. But uh, he got to Washington, and uh, I know that uh, he got a hotel room, and I think he called Sonny and Jerry. And they come up there and, and met with him. And anyway, he went to the uh, to the White House. And, uh, of course, the guard knew who he was. But he said, I'm Elvis Presley. And if it's not too much trouble, I'd like to meet the president. I'd like to talk to him about some things. And so uh, he got in. And uh, then Sonny and... Jerry, they showed up and he let them in and uh, they went in to, you know, to meet Nixon and talk to him and all. And Now this is from uh, Sonny's side of the story, you know. Uh, but anyway, they went in to meet Nixon and uh, met him and I think Nixon and Elvis and one the FBI agents stayed in one one room and they talked about some things now what i don't think anybody knows except you know those three people that's elvis nixon and whoever that was but uh, uh anyway uh elvis uh later he got a fbi badge you know uh from nixon and all you know it made him a member of the fbi was he? He used to say that was his undercover badge. Yeah, <laughs> undercover yeah. agent. Uh, but I I do know once uh, you know not not too long after that just a, just a short time we went back and uh, a lot of us went then and we went to uh, went to the uh, FBI building you know and uh, they train and. And all this, and they were, you know, a lot of them out there, and they were training, and and uh, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think Hoover was there at the time, but anyway, we got to go through the FBI thing, and who quite fascinating to see, you know, that that took us, you know, kind of like a little tour, and they were showing us, you know, how they trace things, you know, from just maybe. God, so much as an envelope or even a postage stamp, you know, and the techniques they used, and God, it was fascinating, boy, it really was. And then we got to go in and, and, and see some of the guys outside training and see them, you know, actually training how they, what the stuff they got to go through and the split-second decisions those men had to make, you know, uh, Going through that, it was, it was what well, was fascinating to us anyway. And we got to do that, and then we went through the gun collection that they had, and that was, mm, golly, I, they had racks, and all the guns were like on a, on a turning rack. And I mean, they would, it was high, it was like maybe seven, eight feet high. And it turned, and like, kind of like doors, you know, they just come around and hit that one, and they'd come on around, and guns, you wouldn't believe, they had a uh, machine gun that Babyface Nelson used, and... Whew, I would uh, like to have seen that. And, oh, it was fascinating. Dillinger's gun, you know, just I'm just trying to, off the top of my head, think of some of the ones that... that but... Uh, Golly, man, that was fascinating. It really was. Were they guns that they 
train with, or were they no, like, these they were, were registered they had for confiscators. Oh, no. confiscated. Yeah, yeah from from the the actual, probably from yeah. some of the yeah. mafia. Okay, and, like, uh, mafia, yeah, all kind of. Gotcha, yeah, okay. And, uh, and gangsters back in the and, day. And gotcha. So they just they, and they had them on lockdown there. And it was uh, it was quite fascinating. It really was. I bet it was. Do, uh, do they have anything from Al Capone? Yeah, they had, uh, I don't know about particularly from him, but they had some of his members guns. Now, the thing I understood is Al Capone never carried a gun. Uh, he, he had was, somebody else. Yeah, do. right. That's right. You're right, exactly right. He never, uh, he had his, you know, his men to do whatever he needed them to do. And, uh, you know, of course, everybody knows the old story about the, uh, Valentine's Day massacre and all that. So that was, you know, hmm, and it's, all, and it's almost Valentine's Day. Almost yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, that was quite an adventure for us. And, uh, a few other, you know, things in Washington where we, you know, got to see like, you know, the Capitol and no, all. Uh, we didn't get actually get time to go into it, but we did go, you know, go see it now. And uh, that's basically all I can tell you about, you know, those two trips, about him meeting next and then going to there. He, uh, had, he just had a um, big interest and love for law enforcement law and enforcement, guns. Yeah. I mean, I remember did, when we yeah. went, um, uh, we went to Tupelo one time and toured the jail in Tupelo mm -hmm. and, um, and in and Memphis too, we went we went to several places that he just he had an interest in all. I remember he bailed one guy out, <laughs> out uh -huh. down there. Uh, now you walk through that. Now. You uh -huh. got a cigarette? That'd be the first thing they'd probably ask you. You know, you got a cigarette? So, but uh, it it we had a lot of fascinating. Yeah, we did a lot of uh, things that tours, were yeah. unusual like that. Mm -hmm. We and. Of all the places, my God, we have been so many places. Elvis has taken us so many places that we wouldn't have normally been able to see or do, and uh, just uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Just it was fascinating to Elvis, and I guess you know, how could it not be fascinating? Yeah. You know, to somebody else, it's, it's nothing else is being with Elvis, you know. But uh, guys, it was. A whole lot of you know you couldn't help but have the the same interest that he yeah. had because it it was fascinating. Well, like, I don't care if you was with Elvis or if you'd have been you know by yourself. It would yeah. have been something to see. You know. Did yeah. he give the reason that he wanted to visit the jails or anything, or did he just no? He just, just wanted to go through. And yeah. No, just it's think. like uh, it's like um, years ago people would say, "Oh, that's so weird," but he visited the funeral home mm -hmm. and. Um, you were with him when he went mm -hmm. there. I didn't go to the funeral. Well, that's another story. That's another story. But <laughs> no, I mean, he just things would. <laughs> he liked things out of the ordinary that he was interested in, and he just, um, you know, and and he loved when he could talk about it, and somebody else would show interest in it. Mm -hmm. I know that's a lot of the things we did up in his room. Um, we'd stay up there for hours and hours, and just get in the middle of his bed in a, in a circle and he would maybe have a book or something he wanted to talk you know something in the book or just just things that came to mind that he thought was unusual and and interesting yep. and we'd spend hours just just sitting there talking uh right up just up in the middle of the bed and just you know comfortable shoes off Whatever, kick just back, you know. kick back, and just you know. <laughs> well, we did, and it just goes along with it. I have a question. Um, somebody asked, did he ever visit any of like the children's hospitals that you know, like the the, the children that were in? I don't I mean, I don't know if it was really St. Jude or Laban or back then, but did he ever do that, or do you think today that if he had fans in children's hospitals, would he go on a celebrity? visit to to the children's I, hospitals i know he donated a lot of money to to um children's hospitals and other not yeah. just children not just children he uh elvis <coughs> really generous with uh donations of 
uh, you know, uh, for medical things and everything else. As far as I know, I don't remember him uh, visiting any of these uh, these things. Uh, if it was a special thing or a child or somebody that came in contact or with Colonel or if somebody, you know, he, I have known and seen articles where back in the earlier days that he did do, like give them, you know, maybe it was their wish or their, what do they call it, their, um, like a make a wish make nowadays, a wish. nowadays, nowadays make a wish. Make a wish. and he, he has done that for uh, children, for children and other people too. Um, he was he was always generous. Never thought Elvis never never thought he was better or than anybody or or you know he just and he always said that you know yeah, don't what? ever put anybody down because everybody knows one thing or a lot of things that you don't know so you can mm -hmm. learn from everybody. So right. what people didn't realize that if Elvis visited a place say St. Jude or somewhere like that, he had to go, he would, you know, he, they would request, whatever state he went in, somebody would say, hey, you know, why don't you visit this? And he would be visiting mm -hmm. every place across the country. It was that, you know, so uh, they had to make it a, you know, a, a straight out thing that, you know, that keep him from, you know, having to do that. I mean, you know, he spent a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, going to different places and stuff like that, but if you put him in that situation, then you've taken all his time. I mean, mm -hmm. all of it, because mm -hmm. it wouldn't be right to go here and not yeah. visit here. So they they limited him, uh, I'd say Colonel, you know, and, and, and and all that, it limited him how much, you know, uh, he could do, He could do, you know, because you know, if, he, if he ever made that commitment, then it was, it was tough. Yeah, and he didn't, he didn't like to turn anybody down, you no. know, it was, I, I know one time he was talking about, um, uh, um, people would say, well, did he go to church? Mm -hmm. Well, he did watch services on TV a lot, but he, not to, that he was bragging or anything like that, but he said, I, I feel like if I go, that it's going to distract from, you know, and I don't want to cause a um, commotion well, or because cause... church or not, yeah. all eyes would have been on him. Yeah. yeah. And that, and so he, he said, I don't want to take away from what he's trying to, yeah. Yeah. So he, he's trying to get across. Yeah. So I, you know, yeah. I, 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 I think he would have liked church. it. Through TV and, mm -hmm. and stuff yeah. like that. So. But, that but he was, was he was very religious. Oh yes, yeah, he was. Yeah, he um, was. But he was <laughs> he was religious. But he made religion. It was not hell, fire, and brimstone. It was it was fun the way we did that a lot too. Yeah. And he would he would say, you know, God has got to have a great sense of humor. He, he said, look at all these people with, you know, look at, every one of us has got something that he can laugh about. So he made every one of us so, you know, so he can point at that one and say, you know, I did that, I did that, I did that. But he uh, he just made made it where he didn't believe that, that religion should be um, like beat into your head and, you know, I mean, it was a, he... He liked it lightly, you know what I mean. I mean, what I'm, I don't know. What he I'm didn't think to... that you should be brainwashed. No, he you didn't. Should... He, yeah. you know, he read the Bible and he knew the Bible, but um, he didn't. He didn't like the raised voices and the and the, you know, how, where it was scared into. Yeah, you. <laughs> where it scared you. He didn't. He would it. You know, he would say <laughs> what he saw and how, what are you thinking about? I bet I know. <laughs> what. See if you guess. Uh, yeah, he the, had a <laughs> yeah, 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 he one had one. a plaque. <laughs> I knew uh, somebody gave him. I don't know. Anyway, I think JD gave uh, it to him. Words on it, and it says, "Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, 
Because I'm the evilest son of a bitch in the valley. <laughs> <laughs> and it was at, and he was right in front of his at the end of his bed. But he was just like but that. But that's the way he was. <laughs> yeah. He, <laughs> Like we said all the time, he could find humor in, in everything. In, in everything, you know. And he could be really deep into something, and uh, I, I'll never forget. I thought it was so funny. He was Linda had gone to the bathroom, and we were in the middle of the bed and sitting up on. And he was, you know, we sit usually Linda, Billy, me, and Elvis. We all sit in a circle, and uh, a lot of times hold hands and talk and everything and he, he was telling us something it was really something real real deep and she had gone in to change clothes and she came back and she of course Linda is, is beautiful anyway but she had on this beautiful peach colored negligee and gown and everything and he was talking and he said and up on the summer of the anyway <laughs> and she walked by <laughs> and then he went oh well back to <laughs> So I mean, he was he was human, <laughs> but that's the way he did. It. You know, he, uh, he and, and and maybe with that we better close it. Yeah, with that we'll, 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 we'll stop that story. And remember, yeah, you know, uh, once again to tell all your friends and 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 neighbors and 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 whoever. Can I say? I, it, don't inter close. Yeah, it, interrupt <laughs> me again. I just don't want to forget. I agree. I just want to say, um, my cousin's birthday, Becky Kessler, is Valentine's Day, and I want to say happy birthday to her Valentine's Day. And happy Valentine's Day to all of y'all out there. Yes. Today. Happy yes. birthday, so Becky. Again, and uh, remember to subscribe and mm -hmm. uh, remember what we say. Elvis fans matter. Elvis fans always matter. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.